comes the Cell Express. Well, if he's freezing alone, then we got in a cellar. Looks like we got a baggage. Here comes the last train on the NEC, um, the NEC Regional. Oh, it's gonna be. Oh, it's on the sec track.
comes a NS intermodal, I'm gonna say, uh, at McCombie, Pennsylvania. I'm gonna have to say 204 at McCombie, Pennsylvania. And I'm at Steamtown. Uh, there we got the Red Enough units, Delaware, Lackawanna, 2461, and DL. 3007. We got a caboose. There's a septa trolley down there. I saw the big boy. And there's a bunch of things, but we'll go over everything once I get in the museum. This is Delaware Lackawanna tracks. Um, I heard one of their trains, but didn't get to see it. I'll show you the big boy. Um, I could barely see it. And I'll show you the septa trolley. They're doing track work on the bridge right now. Um, but yeah, there's no train rides today, sadly, but uh, here, I'll show you the big boy. And uh, there's also the track. There's the septa trolley and the big boy over there. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. Locomotive right there. And we'll just, I'm gonna stop videoing for right now. Also, there's a T1, I guess. Uh, I guess that's her. A little farther down, there's a New York Central Hudson tender thing. Uh, yeah. Here's uh, 4012. I have an HS scale model of this. This thing is massive. 4012, uh, the UP big boy. And yes, I've seen this engine before when it had the uh, silver front. Now it has the gray, so. I saw it before it was repainted. This would be an inner urban museum over there. There's a really cool tank engine. Number 7A, 242. 2124 over there next to the uh, ready enough units. Some other engines, but we'll get to all of this later. I get to everything really later. I just want to say there's that and that engine right there. There's some other stuff in the yard that we're going to get to later, but just thought uh, I'd show off those right now. So, and there's the big boy. Um, but yeah, we'll get to all of this later. Well, here's the uh, 2317 CP. Uh, four, six, two. Um, there's a lot of Canadian engines here, so, yeah. Um, we're approaching the roundhouse, and I'm gonna get in the, uh, 790. The 790, Illinois Central. Then we got a Lackawanna diesel engine. Uh, a couple other things, so, that's what we're gonna do. Just first, I'm, uh, gonna come over here and, uh, show you everything that's sitting so we'll start off with uh, this little uh, 060. I don't think this was here last time. There's a Lackawanna switcher. 790's right here. Now this is a really nice engine and probably the best engine and the um, most recognizable engine. 769's a uh, sister locomotive, the uh, 759. Um, if I... I know I've ridden behind 760 not 
765, but I think I like a 759 more just because, you know, let's get inside of the uh, 280. I guess they uh, switched out the, around the tracks because I remember it being uh, over, more over there. All right, well, here's the cab. Ooh, ooh, tripped. Um, I get, I'm guessing this is for the boiler. I don't want to break anything. Um, you know, there's a throttle and everything. Uh, you know, they took the whistle. No, that's the bell. I was going to say they took the whistle cord out, but. Yeah. That's, uh, that's 790's bell. Just a uh, regular Suedo. Inside the visitor center, we got a PRR 5486, a K4 replica, and a, a live steam Lackawanna 988 Camelback with a uh, hopper. This is, uh, this is the type of thing that I want in my backyard. Um, but, you know, uh, it says help preserve it, but I might just buy it. This is a whole kind of map of the museum. Oh, I'm on the wrong side here. I'll just check. You get it. You get it. This kind of shows what they sell in the gift shop. Nothing bad. I'm probably going to I know I'm doing like a really long video because it's a three day long video. <coughs> but. Ride on train. This uh, neat Lackawanna train. And then I guess over here there's a uh, just displays and stuff, nothing special. I don't know. Alright, so um, I guess there's this combined coach here. And there's a, I guess, ooh, this is a southern coach. Let's see what this one is. Uh, that's the area, and this one's probably Baltimore and Ohio. Go inside of the area car. It says, um, pretty nice. Bathroom and stuff. Kind of reminds me of the Capital Women when I went on it. <laughs> Smells like model trains. You know, we got uh, all that good stuff. We got the uh, faucet, right? the drinking water. <laughs> I know I'm not funny. Uh, and then I guess this would be like the uh, door to the next car. The Louisville and Nashville car. This is just a combine coach. Well, no, a baggage car, not even combined. Uh, nothing too special, you know, just the uh, regular stuff. This would be like, they still have these on Amtrak. Are they that old? These are still on Amtrak trains. So now we're gonna go in the round, now we're gonna go in the round house. I'm sorry about 790's bell. It's a, it's an open bell, so other people can do it. It's not like it's just for one person. And you know, you can't just uh, get whatever you want. So this is the uh, inside roundhouse. We got a Lackawanna. I'm gonna say 260. Missing its front trucks and that green locomotive. This was, this is probably my favorite. No, favorite engine here is like the, uh, <coughs> uh, it's out in the yard. But uh, the Baldwin Locomotive Works uh, 060. So, so that's a really nice engine, but <coughs> yeah. So let's see the locomotive. I think there's only like two or three in here right now. I remember when, um, there was uh, all those, uh, like, uh, that one 
N engine. This is for $7.59 at Booth, I think. This is Delaware, Delaware Lackawanna and Western, $5.65. Getting a, I guess the boiler's getting cleaned? Or it's just getting restored. Yep, there's the, there's the front truck. So, yeah. Now here's number 26. This one's for, yeah, this is the one that I remember being in here. Here's number 26. The uh, oddest and probably coolest left my because it's green. Look at that. 26. Uh, Baldwin number... 26, uh, 060 tank engine, no, tender engine, sorry. And there's a Lehigh Valley coach right here. But I, ju I just find it cool that this is green. And I'm sorry about all the noise. It's an active workshop, so. There's not really much. Let's go down, see what there is, and then, uh, you know, we'll see. Also, I'm just realizing the lack of one tenders back away, so it says back a lap, whatever it is. Uh, so we got the uh, Lehigh Valley coach, and a flatbed, and, you know, so now we'll go into the second section of the roundhouse. Um, oh, I just heard a train, so probably I'm doing yard work. Um, but yeah, so here we got number eight, the uh, derailed 060. <laughs> you know. Same as 26. So here's just uh, two cars, DL and W and Caboose. So let's, uh, we'll get in the, uh, okay. we'll get in here. But land Caboose. This continuing evolution to fit function has been a significant factor. So I just heard a yellow and black one, and that's the, uh, that's something. Uh, now we're going to try to get out into the yard. Somehow. So now we're going into the uh, huge yard. And um, we're going to see some stuff. Um, but like I said, I heard a Delaware and Lackawanna train. Uh, well, not and. Delaware and Lackawanna train. Yes, they do exist. That yellow and uh, kind of eerie Lackawanna looking engine down there. That's their paint scheme. That's one of their engines. And this is not 2101, okay? I know there's going to be a bunch of people saying, Oh my god, you saw Redding in Blue Mountain in Northern 2101. No. This is 2124. And then we got the uh, Redding F units, 902. And I, I'm going to say like 901 and uh, 903. But let's, um, let's go through here and see what we can see. I'll, I'll move. I'm moving down first and then we're gonna go back up. Kind of making a loop. See, it says Redding. So we got 902, the uh, yeah, General Motors uh, F unit, the uh, first, the second one probably. And then over here we have 903, the A unit. This is also an A unit, but you get it. Um. But yeah, well, here's 903. The uh, we're gonna go to the front. I'm sorry I cut the video. I was um gonna I uh, had to tie my shoe. <laughs> no pun intended. Oh, I, I I'm wearing Crocs, so you know I just had to do something. Um, so there's uh there's these two, there's this lot uh 903 and uh 2124. But yeah, so let's move away from those and uh, come down here. To number 15 and the uh, Delaware Lackawanna and the uh, other DL. And I'm sweating terribly, so 
Yeah, so this is a uh, number 15 280, earlier type of 280. I like, I personally like the uh, type 791, the uh, later type. Here it is. Railway. We're just gonna call it Railway Valley Railroad. Railway, whatever it is. Number 15. And then, uh, 2461 and 3007. Yeah, here. I like this paint scheme. It's, uh, interesting. Um, then here's the other engine DL3007. Honestly, it ceased to be. Yeah, it looks like it was a laser. CX. Something. Cool. So I hear real scra rail scraping. They said they were doing. Wait, no, that's probably a, a 3007. I don't know if they still use that, but that's a six truck. This is a four truck. So yeah. DL and, you know. All right. Well, let's walk down to the other end. So here's 47, that uh, weird tender ink engine, terrain, whatever it is. It's a kind of tank engine, but it looks like it has a tender. Y you'll get what I mean when I see it. I just really wish this engine was restored because it's so cool. Some of the engines here, like uh, 759 and this one, they need to be restored. They, they, they aren't the spotlights, but I think 47 could, you know, it's a 466, no, 464, here it is, it's really disappointing, um, CN, but, yeah, I just find it weird that it's kind of, you know, but it's pretty busted, R.I.P. 47. Now there's number one down here. Got a bunch of Green Mountain box cars, which is a railroad up in Connecticut, I think. Here's a something number one, some railroad, uh, generic railway, generic railways number one. Um, it's like, what's this? Canyon? Is this Grand Canyon number one? So, nothing else but a switch down here. So this is a 262 steam locomotive. We're gonna go to the uh, one. Um, you know. So that's uh, kind of disappointing that that's gone, but you never know if these engines will be restored one day. One, one thing I do hope is that they are restored. Grand Trunk Western 6039. The, um, this is a, this is a, um, really nice engine. A force, a 482, uh, engine. Uh, I know CM6060 is like the same type but streamlined, but nah, this is GTW, Grand Trunk Western. Real nice. Now over here, we got probably the engine most of y'all are gonna know. It's this engine that was used as the stock sound effect as for the uh, train whistle, you know, that uh, one locomotive, uh, CN 3254. Um, it is a 282, um, but yeah, I think this engine's still in operation, but yeah. So uh, the hydraulic switcher right here. This is a this is a cool little piece. I doubt it's ever gonna do anything again besides sit in the uh, weather, but it ain't nothing that anyone's really gonna have to worry about. It's just a little switcher. I'm gonna say SW2. Oh, there's the fans. They were. Why is it moving? It's weird. All right. There's something over there, and 
There's other things that we'll get to later, but yeah. Here's a rotary snow plow. Yeah. I'm allowed to go down there, but uh, there's a uh, RS, you know. I can't go down any farther to show you guys the uh, rest, because, you know, but you, you'll get what's going. Show you the, uh, you, you know what's going on. Jump hey, wait, let's go uh, back in the museum. So now we're going to the trolley museum. Um, but before we get in, um, there might be a couple of parts in this video. I'm just saying this now ahead of time because I'm taking so many clips of Steamtown, so this whole trip might be in uh, parts. But uh, anyway. Moving on. The one other thing I'm gonna say, I went to the uh, Wilmington Wrestling Training Camp again. Um, so, you know about the Ocean City Western, I don't need to introduce it, but yeah, so not the B&O engine. Well, I got to drive that yesterday, but your other uh, SW1 that was owned by the uh, Ocean City Western. So, you know, you learn something new every day, so. Yeah, uh, that was kind of exciting for me because I, I love the Ocean City West. Anyway, back to the museum, so I'll show you everything here. And I swear, really weird box cap. All right, oh, we are at the trolley museum and we are just crossing the road to get into it. So first off, there's uh, this thing. I don't know what this little box cab is, but whatever it is, it's I, I want it. Um, and I will take it home and use it on my HS scale layout. Like, I, I would genuinely like an HS scale model of that. This is the uh, first trolley for the six. I'm gonna climb into this. <coughs> oh, I made the whole sh thing fake. This is, I guess, the controls. You know, you got the brake, or, yeah. Um, this was like the key. I remember seeing something like this being the key. And then, yeah. This is the inside, I guess. Like they tore, I guess they tore apart, it apart, but yeah. Let me show you. I don't know what this is. The brake. And the uh, throttle, I guess. That's, that's what I'm guessing. So, we're, oh. Oh, okay. We have a whole, um, oh, that's cool. A little, uh, model trolley. I didn't see that. Of course they have the Thomas and, you know, but I want to see this trolley that's supposed to go on here. So, you know what, uh, there goes this thing. There, there ain't a trolley. Also, um, yeah, wow. We're gonna make it go. It's hard to do it with one hand, so I'll be right back. Okay, so let's see if we can. Oh, wait, it's off the track. Dang it. Oh, it's off the track. Well, never mind. Um, I'm, I'm kind of stupid. Uh, yeah, that's the controls. And what is this? I, I, I don't dare pull this, but... Okay. Yeah, just. Oh no, wait, that's cool. It's just. Is that like? Oh, I thought it was the trolley around time, but uh, toy thing. It's just a hands-on trolley room. Let's see these other trolleys. So here's a Philadelphia and Western trolley. But first, we're gonna go over here to this. A good track of nothing. Very, very cool. Uh, just like, oh, okay, this is the only model train I've seen. NH uh, F units in a, you know, you know, you know. Anyway, um, not really anything else. Right? 
yeah, there's, there's this. <laughs> um, but, okay, here's another model. So, not really a, anything to do. Kind of just small, it's a small museum, so. Anyway, moving on. Get a uh, look. Yeah. I've moved into the next room and there's a, a big board. So over here they got some collars. So, uh, collars. Yeah. Uh, Lackawanna County team. I don't know what this is. It's like a, you get in this? Is this, it doesn't even move. Oh, I did not like that. It just wobbled so much, my god. So then there's this. I don't, I don't know why this is here, but... Can you get on it? I don't know. I'm uh, probably not gonna try. Cause there would be no point. Uh, and then W. Yes, this is W. Um, this one I know you can get in. Oh, okay. And um, there's this. Yeah. So, uh, um, the other one, the same, so. Out there, there's that septic trolley. I think that's it for the trolley museum. Um, yeah, also there's those up there, but, you know. It's not a really big museum, but it, it does the job of, um, giving me a couple of minutes and something to do. I like these museums. A bunch of those. Oh yeah, that's cool. Uh, I guess there's some more over there. No, that's like a party room. Yeah. Alright, well that was it for Steam Town. Um Yeah. Nothing really. But. Yeah. There's 43. Um. Uh. You know, I'm uh, I'm leaving now. I'm leaving Steamtown. Um. I want to say thank you all for uh, watching throughout this whole video so far. This really means a lot to me. That means I have a lot of loyal viewers. If you got to this part of the video, I just gotta thank you. So, um, yeah, that was the uh, Steam Town. Uh, so, now we're gonna go to Poughkeepsie. Um, that's in New York. It's a, uh, it's a Northeast Corridor bridge. But, uh, so there's Northeast Corridor. There's an Amtrak station on one side and CSX tracks on the other side of the river, so. We're gonna do that now, um, but I just gotta drive through New Jersey. Um, and then we're gonna drive up to Massachusetts and go rail thing tomorrow. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's get to it. I'm track train with the head is in speed net. I'm gonna say it's 140 or 822, but it's a heritage unit, that's all I know. It was like phase three. I don't know. Let's see if we can see if we can see if we can Don't know what it has, but it doesn't really say. We'll find out. No. Um. Yeah. All right. It has just a regular P40 thing. There's the. Uh, There's the uh, P40. 
This is my uh, first Metro North train that I, well, my first Metro North P40. I've been to Grand Central and I've been in the cab, one of those uh, cab cars, but I've never seen one of these engines in person, so going up to the end of the platform, there's a, uh, you know, um, 215 Metro North. I also might be able to get a uh, NH unit, New Haven. Uh, so we're going to go to the front of this. I'm going to get my pictures. Um, and yeah.
So I think this Metro North train's leaving. Yep, there it goes. So, uh... Yeah, there's an Amtrak coming very, 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 very soon. So, like, any second now. Well, hoping this can get out of the way in time, because this, you know, it, it's Amtrak, okay? Also, Mark Twin. That's what the car said, Mark Twin. And uh, it sounds like Mark Train. You, you know. You get, you get what I'm gonna say. Right, it doesn't need any introduction. It's the Mark Train in there. And it looks like they're slowing down. I see the uh, engine. See a 17. Which is probably slowing down for the uh, AMREC. He did not overshoot. Alright. So I guess the uh, Metro North is leaving now. So we should see the Amtrak. Hopefully. Yep, here it comes. I knew it. So it should be pulling in. Yep, here it comes. Oh, there he is. I can see him. See the top of him. Is it a heritage unit? Probably is. Yep. 7-Eleven. Wow. 7-Eleven, the gas station. I'm honestly tired of seeing these uh, Empire Service heritage units.
was the night train. Alright. Well, I think now we can skip the Palmer. New England Central and then switching. Well, there it is. NECR um, SD40 2 switching. Okay, any, uh, any, what, NECGR, whatever this is. NECR 721 and, uh, you know. I saw those two engines right there before, but not 721. These guys are moving now. I think uh, they're hooking them up or something. I think he's gonna pull the train today, so, yeah. Oops, sorry. Uh, here's from the, uh, any CR on these.
So I'm out over here, got a uh, Rail America locomotive, a uh, CS engine, and uh, but yeah, I'm really that's really cool that there's a uh, Rail America uh, Mass Jeep Mass High Hood and Mass uh, Switcher. But I'm really excited about that Mass. I mean, not Mass. Uh, Rail America engine down there. That's really cool. I don't know if you. Like right there, you can see it. There are two trains being pushed right now. This is kind of funny. Like two of them. One of them might have Rail America. And I'm saying it might. Because I saw the, you, you guys saw the Rail America engine. You know what I'm gonna say. These trains are both being pushed. I got this Mantua Turbo Train for $19. You can see the tag right there, $19 for this. This was just too good to pass on. It said it needed some work. It runs though, but I, I couldn't just pass this. So, yeah, we're gonna uh, put this back in the bag and I'll show you the next thing. And trust me, this locomotive here, I don't have any passenger cars for it. I don't even know if they make passenger cars for it. But I did get a passenger car. And if you've been to um, Palmer before, then you're probably going to recognize this. I got a uh, this little red coach for $7. Nothing really special about it. It kind of just reminded me of the car at Palmer. So. Um, Lehigh Valley. Um, I got this mint condition. 
fish in Lehigh Valley. Welcome our runs, and I saw him hit, test it, so I, I was really excited about this. So. And I don't have any Lehigh Valley locomotives. I have Lehigh Valley cars, but no, Lehigh Valley is Um. The next thing was just too cute to pass on. This little industrial switcher. The only it run it does not run. It needs uh, this fix, but I'm sure I can fix it. it there's nothing I can't really do with the marks, so these marks are kind of tough to do, but I'm sure I can fix it. For ten bucks, it wasn't bad. And, um, I don't want to say spider because I want to jump in there once. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, there's one more thing.